Okay, this is an oracle card reading for the Virgos for the year of 2019. And my bad, I've been saying tarot card this whole time. I thought they were all t called tarot cards. I just thought they were tarot cards with different names, but come to find out last time I talked with my cousin, <laughs> she informed me that no. <laughs> Uh, they weren't all tarot. Tarot was a specific deck and that what I have is oracle cards. And she's been studying this a lot longer than me, so I'm going to have to just trust her there. And yeah, my bad. I wasn't lying, but I was mistaken that I, I'm not using tarot card. I'm using oracle cards. Um, okay. Sorry. God, goddess, Jesus, angels, please guide the Virgos to what message you would like them to receive for the year of 2019. Amen. Okay. Oh, crap. I forgot. I only got enough, like, some little bit of time left on my phone. Uh, so I'm going to pause this real quick and then start doing the rest of the reading <laughs> when I got everything pulled out. Uh... Yeah, I forgot about that before I started clicking record. So this is about to look dumb. Yeah, it's going to, like, pause and then fast forward in time and you'll see me doing the reading. <laughs> okay, recording again. Um, there's some things I should say real quick before I get started in the reading. And that is, this is a yearly forecast. So each Virgo is an individual. You know, you're not... You may all be a Virgo, but you're each still an individual. So, you could be each going through different stages in life than another Virgo. So, like this card is January. So, realize then that the energy is around January. It doesn't specifically have to be on January. It could be a few months before, a few months after, or so on and so forth. Um, the thing is, you should each be sharing the same energy. But, you could be going through different stages in it. Um, also that, you know, not one side is sign in the Zodiac is all positive people and then another sign is all negative people. Each sign has got negative and positive people. So this energy may apply differently to different Virgos, you know, depending if you're like a negative or positive person or maybe somewhere in between. And I, I think most people are kind of in between, you know, they are mostly good but they probably have some rough spots and then there's some people that are just more on the nasty side and then there's some people a little more saintly than others so you get it you're in different stages and you can be a different person um so take the energy as it resonates with you and also remember it's a yearly forecast and you all could be in different stages in your life okay and that this is a general reading it's not a personal reading so, it's like a one-size-fits-most thing going on. It's not going to fit everybody. It's like that t-shirt you get at the dollar store. It's not going to fit everyone. Uh, it might fit most, uh, but may not fit, and it may fit partially on some people. And then for some people, it's just not going to fit them at all. So, do keep that in mind. So, remember that. Okay, so... Uh, here's January, the Sisters of the Seasons, Cycles of Growth, Natural Law, Divine Order. That would make sense, being in January. It's a new year. Uh, you know, this pretty much just means we go through seasons in life. Maybe you, uh, likely you were going through a season in life and now you're in a new season, which would make sense as it's a new year. It's a completely new season then. Um... You know, and that's usually the time people decide to make a New Year's revolution, or resolution, whatever. I'm tired. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, though. Uh, resolution, you know, where they try to make lifestyle changes. They try to uh, change habits in their life. You know, you, you New Year's is like the time we, we do that. Um, so, honestly, this card would make sense to be pulling out on January because I could definitely see just your average person uh, trying to make changes or resolutions on the New Year's. Um, but I guess being that that card popped up, it would tell me more you're likely are actually very committed to your resolution. You know, some people, they make a resolution and they just kind of quit 
three like, weeks later, sometimes two days later, sometimes three months later. Um, but the fact that uh, that card would pull up I'm would tell me you're likely committed to this season. If you're making a New Year's resolution, you're likely actually committed and you're not actually going to quit. You're going to stick to what you've promised yourself to do, what you've told yourself you're going to do. So if you're planning on quitting drugs or drinking or smoking or stuff like that, uh, that card tells me you're very confident in what you're doing. You're likely actually going to pull through. Uh, maybe you're just planning on being a better parent. Maybe you're just planning on being a better person. Uh, you know, maybe you're planning on doing more for you, like going on vacations or whatever. But whatever it is that you plan on doing or setting your, your, your mind to, um, I'm going to guess more that you're likely going to stay committed to it because it's a different season. Um, it doesn't say that it's... Uh, <laughs> A phase it's a season that's that's a moment of growth and learning so a season's not just a phase that's something you're committed to so that's a good sign that that card's pulling up in January that if you're planning to make some resolution that you're gonna be committed to it uh, and maybe there isn't something you plan to commit to the new year could just be a new season for you you know um, you know a new lifestyle change a change of scenery or whatever uh, so you know, the New Year's could just be some sort of change for you. You know, because sometimes changes just come in our life and maybe we're uncomfortable with it and sometimes we're happy about it. But uh, changes are there for a reason uh, to help us learn and grow. And sometimes it hurts and sometimes it makes us happy. But um, it is for our best interest all in all when we are growing. Okay, so here's February, the Dream Walker, Dreams, the Collective Good, Illusions. Another good card if you're actually trying to uh, make a, you know, a New Year's resolution. So that's actually a good card to come up as well. It pretty much just means, you know, dream, believe, have faith in something, uh, you know, daydream. Uh... And in that, you will be manifesting it with your energy that you'll start walking in it. Um, you know, and if you have the power and capability to actually manifest it and not just sit around, I would highly suggest that. Because some people will daydream all day and expect it to come to them, but they're not doing anything about it. If you can physically do anything about it, do something. Uh, if there is nothing you can physically do about it, then yes, just keep dreaming, keep daydreaming, keep believing, keep having faith in that. And you will see through. Here's March, the Arrow Master, hitting the mark, intuition, detachment. That just means set your goals, set your intention, keep your eye on the target. Damn, you, you guys are really doing something new here. <laughs> I mean, first you have that, that season card, something for, you know, a good New Year's resolution and then the card that says to keep believing and having faith and then the card that just says keep being determined you know set your attention on your goal and you'll achieve it that's what this card means to me just set your attention on your goal like this dude here with his bow and arrow he set his intention on that target you've set your intention on a goal and he will keep his intention on that target so he can hit it you need to set your intention on your goal, and you will achieve it. You know, the arrow master. You will be the master. And I want to point out the part that's detached, because that one is pretty d drawn to that right now. Sometimes, in order to achieve your goal, there are things you need to detach from. Like, maybe a bad habit you need to detach from. Uh, maybe you need to detach from toxic people and maybe you need to detach from toxic habits you might have. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, like, imagine if this guy was carrying around other stuff along with his bow and arrow. It would be very difficult for him to hit that target. Like, what if he was like, I need a bottle of water and I, I need my lucky ring and my lucky this and that. It would be really difficult for him to hold on to that. And, you know, maybe he needs to let go of the idea of luck and just believe in himself. Maybe he needs to 
uh, set down his water and realize he doesn't need to cling to it so badly. It'll be right there at his feet if he needs it. Uh, you know, and it's the same thing, like, in life. If you have set your intention on a goal, sometimes you do need to detach from things that are holding you back. But, you know, just set your intentions and you will achieve it. April. The Desert Prince Survival False Promises. Now, I'm sorry, this is not the most positive card, and I think that that one's pretty kind of <laughs> clear. I mean, it says survival, false promises. I'm sure you can imagine then, as well, somebody has lied to you. They gave you a false promise, you know, maybe a false promise of hope that they've changed, or a false promise for a better job, or, you know, um... I don't know, but I'm kind of feeling like somebody may have promised you they've changed or something. Uh, maybe not all of you, but I'm kind of getting a strong feeling like some of you out there, maybe at least one of you, somebody promised you they were going to change, and they didn't keep their promise, and now you're, like, surviving that false promise. So, in April, sorry, it's not looking too good. Um... But as I said, you know, it, it it can be positive and negative. So, you know, like if you're somebody who leans more towards the uh, dishonest side, you may survive being your own false promises. Because uh, sometimes when you lie, you find out there's repercussions for it. There's consequences for it. And you end up being left alone to face the consequences. You end up surviving your false promises. Now, that doesn't mean all of you. It's just I do try to acknowledge the others out there that might be lying uh but not with judgment uh but more out of trying to help guide and direct you know and for all i know maybe your your new year's resolution was to uh be more honest and maybe in april you're going to be uh facing the burden of it a little more um you know maybe the repercussion of not keeping your promises, what how it co how it caused others to feel, and how they might direct that energy toward you. You may actually be suffering through that. Uh, I would encourage keep going though. You know, when you're getting past a bad habit or getting past something uh, to learn and grow, it's never an easy road. But the journey, when you reach through it all, is absolutely worth it. Let's go to May. The Keeper of the Skills, Fairness, Balance. That just means you could be seeking some fairness and balance in your life. Or maybe you finally achieved the fairness and balance in your life. Um, kind of feeling like some of you have. Like you definitely achieved it. You finally found that fairness and balance in your life that you've been needing and desiring and wanting and working toward. Uh, some of you may be in the process of you're still working on it or maybe you're in the process of just needing it and not sure how to work towards it yet. But the fairness and the balance energy is on you in some way. You know, and even if you're dishonest, that, that would actually apply to you too because, uh, you know, seeking fairness and balance in yourself to do the right thing and for others, you know, to be a person of fairness and balance. And it doesn't mean that you weren't wronged yourself. A lot of the time, often when people are like that, a lot of the time you were wronged. And it's kind of hard to admit, but a lot of the time it happens in the childhood because it's where um, your upbringing was. You know, sometimes there's a lack of fairness and balance between the parent and the child. Um... You know, sometimes the child's overspoiled, and sometimes the child's over-disciplined. And either way, that's just an absolute imbalance of fairness there. Uh, you know, and that can be the cause a lot of the time of someone who is deceitful. Um, you know, but if you're one, of, if you were the the golden child and could do no wrong, good for you. Trying to uh, get past that, that's. No, really, I'm not like good for you because a lot of them, they do not try to do that. That takes a lot of strength. You know, so good for you if you're trying to get past that. Um, and, uh, you know, if you were not 
the, the golden child. Maybe you were just treated unfairly growing up and it, it caused you to have a hard heart. Again, good for you. That takes a lot of courage and strength to get past that and overcome that. So, like I said, the, the cards, energies, they can go for both, you know, negative and positive emotions. Um, and I'm not here to judge. I'm only here to try to help guide. So, you know, if you were the one lied to, you are probably seeking fairness and balance in your life, which would make sense. And if you were the liar, that would also, uh, you know, just, if you were the liar, I'm honestly amazed by you that you are seeking that in your life. Because most will not do that. So that takes a lot of courage and strength. Uh, and if you're the one lied to, honestly, that also takes a lot of courage and strength. Because too many people turn back to an old habit of letting people manipulate their lives instead of, you know, uh, standing strong and taking recognition of their worth. So either way, it takes a lot of courage and strength, no matter what uh, part of life that you are going through at that moment. Let's go to June. The Hungry Ghost, Obsession, Scarcity, Consciousness, Attachment. Now, I gotta say, this is not the most pleasant card either, um, because it says the hungry ghost, so the way I look at it is it means you hunger for something in the past, something that is not healthy, though, to, uh, to hunger for, uh, because it's a ghost, you know, it's something dead, it's from the past, it's not of use, it, it, it's like go for a reason, it's not in the present for a reason, but you could be obsessing over it, whatever it is, you know, um, yeah, pretty much just obsessing over it in your mind. Now, let me say, it's okay if you're having a moment. If you're just having a moment, you know, like five minutes a day, maybe even a week. Um, maybe a little longer than a week, but don't stay there. Because if you stay there, then it has come to a point where it's unhealthy. Like, it is okay to, uh, you know, like some people, they'll hunger for their ex. Even though they really shouldn't do that, they'll, they'll, they'll miss them. Even though they let go of them for a reason, they broke up for, broke up with them for a reason, and they're just sitting there crying. It's okay, have your cry, but don't stay there. Don't wish for them back. You let them go for a reason. Um, or at least they are gone for a reason. They they have no purpose to serve you currently, and that's not to be mean. You know, like. As if to say they had no worth. Of course they've got worth. It's just they don't have a purpose now uh, to serve you at all. Um, you know, so have your moment, but don't stay there. Do not have a hunger for that ghost. Let it go. Have your cry. Make peace with it. Let it go. Don't stay there too long. And I'm trying to emphasize on not staying there too long because that's usually what that card means. Is likely you're going to stay there too long. <laughs> you're You're obsessing and pondering on it way too long and it, 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 so I'm just going to be gentle and be like it's okay to have a moment but don't stay there July the swan queen transformation intuition patience yay good for you that is the card of transformation and you're probably intuitive and you know what you are what this transformation is and what it's about what you're transforming into uh, you know, what kind of person you're trying to be, perhaps, or something you're trying to achieve in your life, that, this is a good thing, because, like I said, about March, set your intention on your goal, and you will achieve it. This would tell me that you are achieving it, you are getting there, you are transforming. So, if you're trying to let go of a bad habit, or you're trying to start a new life, or if you're trying to, uh, Quit your lying ways. This would tell me that you you are transforming. But it does say to be patient. Maybe you're not there completely yet. Uh, which you're likely not completely there yet. But you've come a long way if this card's come up. You've already transformed quite a bit. So you know just keep on going. You're going to get there. You are already transforming. So you will fulfill and accomplish it you know you'll you'll reach the end of this road you'll achieve your goal Whew. august the resurrection surrender to change 
another good card to pull up after the transformation card this just means surrender to the change and I may not know what the change is and it's not 2019 so you probably don't know what the change is yet maybe you do but surrender to it. it is always for your benefit if it says to surrender to trust you know to be like the phoenix a new life And, you know, I know change can be a little scary. And maybe you don't know what that change is that you need to surrender to. Uh, but being the card has pulled up, if you don't know what change it is, I would look into it. See, you know, start dabbling into things, perhaps. You know, try different techniques or whatever of things you might think would benefit you. You know, just to see what works, what helps perhaps to surrender to that change in your life that is right there for you already it's you just gotta surrender to it and trust it my goodness you guys have got some good cards you really do I know it might be a struggle getting through things but honestly you just you've, you've got achievement cards here too so that means you know this is a good thing so even if you're not done on your journey at the end of the year keep going because you, you, you've got a lot of achieving cards here at least in my opinion I would say these are pretty good achieving cards so September the spirit whisper divine guidance higher knowing that just means listen to your gut the spirit is whispering to you and you know whatever it is that you believe in you know, do you believe in your ancestors? Do you believe in a god or a goddess? Do you believe in extraterrestrials or fairies? Buddha? Whoever? <laughs> you know, what do you believe in? Uh, angels, you know? So whatever it is that you think spiritually that you consider of a divine speaking to you or that you communicate with, just replace the word spirit with that. I, I know some people, they have different beliefs out there, and, you know, some may not believe in spirit, you know, they may just believe in themselves, or their, their higher self, or whatever, you know, so do replace it with whatever your belief is, but pretty much all in all, listen to the, your gut, you know, that little hint, that little feeling you get sometimes if something is spoken to you, it's saying, listen to that, listen to that little voice, listen to that whisper, uh, you may or may not hear anything audible, just, <laughs> you know, that feeling you get that it, it, it might as well be a voice. It comes in that strong. Uh, but yeah, just trust in that little instinct, that little whisper you might be feeling. It's guiding you, and it is guiding you to the benefit of whatever it is that you're seeking. Especially with all these cards around here, I, I'd assume it's definitely guiding you to whatever you're seeking, whatever goal you're trying to achieve. The Rainbow Prince, oh, oops, sorry, this is October, <laughs> the Rainbow Prince, Compensation, Perseverance, oh, there's another card that says you will achieve, there's compensation for your perseverance, for persevering, for pulling through, for keep going, for not giving up, there will be compensation for that, you know, so, just hang in there and keep going. <sighs> I'm a little thirsty. <laughs> Oi. Yeah, sorry, I'm zoning out. I'm really tired right now, and yet I'm still trying to do the reading. Uh, but then again, uh, in my opinion, sometimes tiredness is a good way to do a reading. Because <laughs> it leaves your mind and your soul actually much more vulnerable to intuition because you don't have all those thoughts going through your mind because you're too tired to have thoughts at that moment so um i mean honestly being tired is not always the best source for intuition for some people but in my opinion for some people it's like really great like i have this one friend she tried to do a reading for me when she was tired and i'm like damn she did good <laughs> so honestly yeah sometimes tiredness can be the best time in my opinion that's just my opinion though <laughs> Uh, so don't, you know, like, take my word for it as in, 
being solid gospel or something like that because it's just my opinion. They're not, not all psychics or people that believe in this are going to agree with me. Uh, so it's just an opinion though. Okay, so let's get on to November. The Lady of the Gift, Generosity, Receiving, Withholding. That just means likely you have been withholding gifts from yourself. Uh, withholding, allowing yourself to have, you know, people in your life that give you general respect as you should have for another human being. Um... You know, or the other way around, like, if you're being deceptive, maybe you withhold it from others. You withhold the gift from them. Um, but this card pretty much means knock it off. <laughs> you know, to recognize that you deserve better. You deserve respect and dignity and love like anybody else. And it's time to kick their asses out of your life that are not going to give that to you. Because they're only there because you let them be there. So you're the one that's technically withholding this gift from yourself. So you need to allow people in your life that are going to give you that dignity, love, and respect. You know? Because they may be withholding it from you. But if you're letting them in your life, you're the one withholding it from you. So kick their asses out of your life and start having people... In your life that are going to give you dignity, love, and respect. Uh, or at least start to try to set boundaries with some people. You know, some people, they have a good heart. They just take advantage of you. And they need those boundaries set. Like, some of them will learn to respect you if you set those boundaries. So you can test the waters a little bit and see who's your real friend. That's just needing a little guidance to stop being an asshole. <laughs> and then see who is just genuinely an asshole you know because uh, a genuine asshole they won't stick around if they can't use you anymore um but somebody who let's just say like i said some people are negative some people are positive some are in between and i think most people are in between they may be a positive person but they've got some negative habits like taking advantage uh you know so those good friends they will learn they will stay and they will respect those boundaries if you set them. And when you set boundaries, man, you learn real quick who's your real friends. <laughs> and if you're withholding this, you know, generosity and this gift and dignity or respect from others, I would just encourage you to keep working on that so you can find inner peace. Uh, because the truth is a lot of people that are lying, I know the truth is y'all don't really feel that inner peace. Um, you lie and you manipulate most of the time simply because you don't have peace inside. And by lying and manipulating others, a lot of the time you're trying to lie and manipulate yourself into believing you're okay when you know you're not. <laughs> Again, it's not with judgment though. And I have studied a little psychology, so I do understand a little bit more about your mind and your emotions. Um... That, you know, a lot of times there's an inner wound in there or just something. Uh, so, you know, again, this is not with judgment. This is just trying to help with guidance. And uh, so I would encourage you to, yes, keep going on in the process of being honest and learning to give that dignity and respect to others. Because you're probably trying to fill that hole right now and trying to um, fill and find that inner peace. And I kind of get the feeling like, at least those of you that are trying to practice this, you are going to start feeling that inner peace. And you realize by giving love and respect to others, you're, I kind of feel like you, you're trying that and you're going to, like you're trying it out, trying it on for size. Like, you know, I want to change things. I want to try this on for size. Let's see if this even feels good. And I think you're, you're going to start finding it actually does feel good. Like, I, I don't know, I kind of just, I'm getting this feeling like you're just trying it on for size. Like, you're not actually sure how it's going to make you feel. Um, but you'll find that by giving a loving nature, you find other loving nature people uh, starting to be more drawn to you because you're starting to work with that more energy of love. So that, you know, like attracts like. <laughs> so when you're practicing in that, a lot of those 
kinds of people are going to start entering your life and you're, it's going to benefit you. And it's really going to start bringing in that inner peace and probably a lot of healing and what it is that you really desire in your life. It's going to start being fulfilled. Uh, so I'm kind of picking up strongly on that one right there. Like those of you that withhold that gift, you're, you're going to try this on for size to stop withholding it. And you're going to find a, a lot of positive outcome and benefit to it. Uh, and probably even a lot of healing. It's going to feel really good to you. Uh, this may not feel good to everybody, like I said, to general reading. You know, maybe some of you are not ready to grow or advance in that stage yet. Uh, but for those of you that are trying to grow and advance in that stage, it's going to start feeling really good to you. You're actually going to like it. <laughs> Mostly because you notice sending out that energy actually draws people into you that have that same energy of just wanting to give love and respect. And... So it puts the right kind of people around you, which starts to feel really good. Because those are people that generally care about you. And are not going to lie to you or hurt you. And in other words, like maybe you were hanging around the wrong crowd before. And those people would fuck you over easily day in and day out. And you're going to start hanging out with a new crowd here. They're, they're not going to fuck you over. Uh, you know, nobody's perfect, but these are going to be good people. You'll be sending out that energy, and that energy is going to be coming back, and it's going to feel good. Um, I know I'm rambling. I'm just, uh, I hope I made sense, though. I'm, like, trying to be a as clear and communicative as possible uh, about the message from that card. All right. Just, all right. I, for I think I forgot to say this was November's card. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so tired right now. I think I forgot, though. And here's December, the resting tree, patient stillness. That just means be patient, be still. What you need will come to you. You know, sometimes we can be working so hard on something that we want so bad. And it just doesn't seem to be manifesting in our life. Maybe there's hints of it here and there, but we just have a moment of doubt. We're just like, is it really manifesting? Am I just wanting and wishing and hoping and having stupid faith? And this would mean, no, you're not just having stupid faith. You're just being like a tree. You're resting. You're being patient. Like the tree trusts, water will come to it. It will rain. Like the tree will trust there will be sunlight even when the moon is out and it's dark. The tree trusts and know what it needs will come to it. Whatever it is that you're need or wanting or maybe longing for right now. You may be in a moment of patience and stillness. Uh, usually I tell people that it means be patient, be still. But I'm kind of getting a strong feeling right now. You are being patient. Like you're, you're at a moment of rest. And just being patient and knowing Everything will be okay. You know, maybe you've worked your ass off to the extent you can. And the rest of it's out of your control. But, and maybe you're having a little bit of doubt. But it's okay. You know, this is a moment that it's okay to have faith. And just be patient and still and trust. What you need and want is coming to you. It will manifest. It will come to your life. And, you know, it can be different things. As you're each individual Virgos, you're not all the same person. You're just all a Virgo. So you're sharing in the same energy, but, you know, through different stages and through different emotions and different personalities. Um, so, yeah, do keep that in mind. Um, dang it, there was something I was going to say and I totally forgot. Oh, well, I um, tired and I forgot but either way um I hope you like the reading um if you don't what I do is I flash the cards so you can use your own intuition what you think you feel from them which is completely fine as I am not one of those psychics that will lie to you or bullshit you or bullshit myself into thinking I'm a hundred percent um I know the psychics are out there and they will you know tell you they're a hundred percent but honestly they're either lying to you or themselves. There's a lot of them out there. I think they're lying to you. Uh, but there, there are a few out there. I think they genuinely believe they're 100% accurate. 
Uh, which is not true, you know, because no person in their knowledge is ever 100% accurate. And no person, not even the most saintly, is 100% <laughs> like holy or angelic. You know, they they have moments in their life where they've done something wrong. Uh, so, you know, no, not one person is 100%. And it's the same with psychics. They're not 100% accurate ever. Uh, I personally am like... I would say, like, at my best, I would say I'm about 90%, 98% accurate. In my opinion, though. Um, I do know that I can get about 75% accurate. So, at my least, <laughs> I'm 75. And at my most, I'm 78. But I'm not ever going to lie to you and tell you I'm 100%. Because to me, that's just really... <laughs> ignorant and arrogant <laughs> just my opinion so like i said i hope you enjoyed the reading but if you don't here are the cards so you can use your own intuition what you feel so here's january february march april May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And I still can't remember what that thing was I was going to say. I'm too tired. Probably doesn't matter too much. So, yeah, Virgos, you have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good evening whenever you're watching this. And I hope you have a good year of 2019. Bye now.